Hello everyone, Amber here. Welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I am just going to share with you how I went about putting together this binder ring flip book. I had a lot of fun making this and I think that the end result is really, really cute. So I'm excited to share it with you guys. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into how I made this. So for the base of this flip book, I am using these dividers that I got with a box that I bought for Michaels. So these dividers are just to like separate the box into little sections. I use the box for washi tape, so I didn't really need them, so I just decided to upcycle them. So I'm just using three of them for the base of my flip book. And the first thing I'm going to do is cover both the front and the back of them with some scrapbook paper. This paper pad I got from Michaels, it's called Garden Party and I absolutely love it. I'd actually gone to Michaels that day to look for uh, some hot pie paper pads, but this one caught my eye and it wasn't on sale, it wasn't a hot buy. It was $20, but I loved it so much I just used a coupon and got it for 10 instead of 20. So um, it was a great find and I really, really like it. Um, that yellow polka dot paper is probably my favorite. Um, besides purple, yellow is my favorite color and polka dots is such a cute pattern. So one thing that concerned me about these dividers is that the surface of them is really slick. So going into this project, I was kind of worried about how the paper would adhere to the dividers themselves, but um, the glue stick I used held up pretty well and everything worked out fine. So I'm just using my scoring tool to smooth that down nicely. I love using my scoring tool to um, adhere paper to my projects just because it works so well. It gets in all those little places that you might normally miss. And yeah. So I did have a little bit of difficulty with my camera while I was filming this. Um, the camera just kept shutting off and then when I finally went to edit this video, I noticed that some footage was missing. <laughs> so you didn't get to see me make the envelopes. But I just used my We Are Memory Keepers punch board and I believe these envelopes measure three inches by four inches. So yeah, I'm just going to add those into my flip book. But to do that, I first need to punch some holes. So to make sure that all of my punched holes are equal, I am just using that first one on that divider that I punched to <laughs> trace where the other holes on each other part of the flipbook should go, if that makes sense. I'm terrible at explaining things. So I'm just going to punch all those holes and I also punch holes into the envelopes because I'm also going to hook those in with a binder ring. So to do that I just once again measured with that first hole that I punched. So when you're adding envelopes to a flipbook like this, what you want to make sure of is that the punched hole is not going to interconnect with that top flap of the envelope that opens and closes because if you do the binder ring is going to slip through there and then you won't be able to open the envelope without having to completely take the envelope off the binder ring. So just be aware of that when you're putting that together. Also, another thing that my camera cut out, unfortunately, was me making those little hole reinforcers. I finally got a 5 8 inch circle punch, and I was really excited to make those, and the camera cut it out. So I just did that, and then I put it all in order of how I wanted it, and went ahead and hooked the binder ring around it. So now it's just time for decorating. Um, those flowers there are cut out. I fussy cut them out of a sheet of paper I got from Michaels. I had actually bought four or five of that sheet just because I knew I was going to be fussy cutting the flowers out. I just love them so much. So I just glued those down um, to keep with the whole like garden tea party theme of this flip book. And now I'm using some mounting tape to add that cut apart card that came from the paper pad I used. It says sweet treats and I just think it's so adorable and it looked really cute for the cover of my flip book. 
The mounting tape I used is actually from the Dollar Tree. I believe it is Jot brand. I was super excited to find out that the Dollar Tree had mounting tape just because I don't want to splurge and spend five or six dollars for mounting tape. I'd rather spend that money on something else like pretty paper or you know ephemera or something. So um, the mounting tape from the Dollar Tree works really well. It's sticky enough to keep things in place but if you kind of like mess up where you want to put um, the piece that you're decorating with it comes off so easily so it's like the best of both worlds. So I really wanted to use that little pink piece of ephemera behind the main focus um, of the front cover which is that cut apart card but it just wasn't working well so I just used the little blue piece of ephemera that I had also fussy cut out of a, a scrapbook paper and I just um, you know put that down <laughs> and now for that little envelope there I kind of wanted to keep it simple I didn't want to go too overboard because you know the envelopes are small so I just uh, glued that um, vellum flower down that a pen pal had sent me and then I used some more of that mounting tape to put down that ephemera that says lovely I actually cut that out of a cut apart card from um, that same paper pad so for this envelope I am uh, trying to decide what to put there I kind of go through a lot of different options until I settle on one that I like also, I apologize if at some point throughout this video, the flipbook itself is kind of cut off. I seem to have terrible spatial awareness. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I am just mounting that butterfly with some mounting tape. Um, I just didn't want to break up my hot glue gun for that. And that way, if the person who receives this flipbook wants to take it off and use it themselves, they can. So for this page on my flipbook, I again am just um, adhering some of those cut apart flowers down and um, I love that card. It says it's high time for tea time. I just love it. I thought it was so cute. And for the back of that envelope there, I just put a little ephemera that says hello and then I am adhering my envelopes shut with some velcro which is also from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> so um, yeah. Now for this pink page in the flip book, I wanted to make a pocket and I didn't quite measure it out properly so I did end up having to use a pencil to mark where I was going to have to score. But it worked out perfect, it came out perfectly even which I was really happy about. So I'm just scoring on either sides and about half an inch on the bottom cutting out the corners on both sides, folding it up, and then I'm going to adhere it to the page. So this paper that I'm using is kind of thick. Um, it didn't want to stick down initially, so I kind of had to work with it a little bit. I also used um, my circle punch to make a little indentation on the pocket to make it kind of stand out a little bit more. Now with this pocket, I also went through a whole bunch of different ways to decorate it and I kind of just edited that out of the video, um, otherwise it, the video would have been so long. So yeah, I just put a flower and then this little piece of ephemera that says hashtag boss. I got that from a swap partner and I thought it looked so cute and matched the theme of the flipbook. And for the back of this envelope, I'm just adhering a heart. And for this page, I am using a um, clear bag. Um, I got this clear bag from um, a craft supply that I got. I just used the bag that it came in. And um, I had originally, go I was going to use it for a different craft project, but I didn't. So I just cut um, a piece of paper from this paper pad to match and slipped it inside and I'll fill it up with goodies at a later time when I know who this is going to um, so I can you know stuff it with stuff that they'll like so yeah I'm just taking some pink fringe that I got from the Target dollar spot when they did their sale um, a few weeks back and I just uh, adhered that to the top of that little clear bag with some double-sided tape 
and I'm just going to clip that to that page with a paper clip. And I couldn't really decide how I wanted to decorate the rest of this page. Um, I didn't want it to appear like too clunky or anything, so I spent quite a bit of time thinking about what to do with it. Um, but eventually I just decided to um, add a little butterfly to the corner there with some mounting tape. So, you know, the person who receives this can use it themselves if they want. And I also thought it added just a little bit of flair, like just enough to complete the page. And with all the goodies in that bag, it'll add even more decoration to the page, so I think it'll work out just fine. And for this last page, um, I originally was just going to decorate it, but then I decided to add a little pocket at the end there. So this kind of had its pros and cons. <laughs> a pro was that it, you know, it could hold a lot of stuff. But a con was that it was kind of hard to decorate because the pocket was so long and so narrow. So that proved to be a bit of a challenge. So once again, I kind of just cut out all that, like, 15 minutes of trying to figure out what I'm going to put on the pocket. Um, yeah. So I ended up just adding some flowers, some ephemera, just all that good stuff. I'll probably use this pocket for supplies that are larger that I want to send my pen pal or, um, you know, like Project Life cards, stuff like that. I think that would fit nicely in there. So to keep with like the green theme of the flipbook, um, I glued down a piece of green paper, one of those cut apart flowers again, um, a little gold paper clip, and that's pretty much it. And that's the completed flipbook. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Take care and happy crafting. Bye.